So, wait, what? Like, you hate Betsy Wolf? No, of course I don't hate Betsy Wolf. Nobody hates Betsy Wolf. Did you see Merrily We Roll I Along at Encores? I sat next to you at Merrily We Roll so Along So you at understand Encores. that she is a national treasure. We all know this. I'm just saying when I want to listen to the last five years, I go back to the recording that I fell in love with. the last five years with six amazing yeah, singers. Yeah, look, so Anna and Jeremy are great, too. I'm just saying. The, oh, hi. I'm hi, David. I'm Paul. We are the Regano Songbook. And this is Broadway, Broadway on, on Deck. Deck. On Deck. Hey, All Things Broadway Channel. We've got a little survey for you. Check all the boxes that apply. No cheating now. Are you the biggest theater nerd in your school? Do you think that sports are lame, but Adina is cool? Have you ever said, I can't, I'm in tech? Does your weekly tap class keep you in shape? Do you know all the words to Hamilton, CR, and mixtape? Do discussions about bootlegs always leave you a wreck? Are you on top of every musical trend? Do you cry to think that someday even Phantom will end? Do you have the range for any role from Annie down to Amy and Beck? So if you're that theater lover and you know that you are And you need to know which role they start before they're a star Then tell me how many boxes did you check? What you Broadway on Deck! Hello! And welcome to the first ever episode of Broadway on Deck. Sort of. This is a sneak preview of a series of concerts that we hope to continue. Yes, we are so grateful to the All Things Broadway channel uh, for hosting the special preview episode of Broadway on Deck, which we hope to expand into a full series. We're very excited to be here at this beautiful and newly renovated town stages in lovely downtown Manhattan. Soho, baby. Now, David and I both work in the professional theater a lot, which means we come across a lot of stupid, talented people. So stupid. Talented. So talented, in fact, that we are sure that they are going to be very famous very soon. And we want to give you guys a sneak preview of the inside scoop, as it were. So what we're going to do today is you're going to see some of our friends performing some of our songs. Because we're up and coming talent, too. That's right. Better recognize. And uh, then we'll tell you a little bit about who they are and what they're doing. Now, we do not write exclusively for a family audience, so there will be some language in some of these songs. So basically, you know, plug your headphones in, close and lock the door, whatever you do when you're listening to Avenue Q, Book of Mormon, or Be More Chill at Home. And without further ado, Broadway on On Deck! deck. On On Deck! deck. (laughs) Tiny bit of who he 
was a little bit of who he's gonna be. I can tell your puzzle is divine, especially if your piece is filled with sort of what you do as a performer, which is a long list. What was the last thing you did? Uh, well, most recently I spent the last eight months in Napanee, Indiana, which is like a tiny town in northern Indiana at the Round Barn Theater, um, where I played a lot of different roles. I was in about five different shows in rep there. And um, most recently I was Ariel in Disney's The Little Mermaid. That's right. A lot of fun. That was. You were uh, you were pretty famous out there. Your picture, the poster for The Little Mermaid, oh, yeah. uh, is her. So just embarrassing. In, in the full mermaid get up the red wig and everything, this fire engine red wig. <laughs> yes. It was plastered on a poster across the round barn that is the round barn theater. <laughs> it so was, a little. That's a really cool experience. I, I got to do um, aerial silks, uh, which was really awesome, which we incorporated for like transformations and stuff, it was really cool. Yeah, flying through the air and acrobatics. Totally. That takes a lot of a lot of core. You gotta, man. It's work. I tried it. It's fun though. It's, it's not fun easy. Fun. <laughs> yeah. You've been working with the Regana Songbook for a while. A long time, yeah. definitely. I've done a, um, like a lot of cabarets with the Regana Songbook. Um, we all, a year ago, we did You Heard It Here uh, at yes. New York Winterfest. Yes which was a lot of fun as well. We got to do the Nutcracker, the musical together. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I love that, that one. I really love that piece too, honestly. And, and like we did readings of it, but then we also did a, a full production of it at the Westchester Sandbox Theater um, a couple of years ago, which was awesome. I got in both Nutcracker and You Heard to Hear, um, I got to play like a whole bunch of different roles and stuff, which is super fun always, and I love doing it. Um, and so that was, that was just a blast. So, uh, so what is coming up next for you? What's what's on the horizon for Lauren Morgan? Um, let's see. I have a couple of big auditions coming up, which I'm really excited about. It's part of the job. That is yeah. the job. Uh, yeah, seriously. Um, so I'm prepping, prepping, prepping for those. Um, and then in March, I'll be performing again with the Regano Songbook at the fifth annual Ides of March uh, Extravaganza. What? I the know. The fifth annual Ides of March Extravaganza, you said? Yes. Stay okay. tuned for updates about that. That's going to be a big deal. I mean, she's going to be there, so you want to get your tickets now. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure thank hearing you. you sing and playing music with you. And I love working with you guys. So, uh, seriously, check them out. We it's so worth it. We belong to the Mutual Admiration Society. You don't have the rights to that! What? Okay. <laughs> Miss Pine sees the sky as a different shade of blue and the green grass to her is a wholly different view. Even on a cloudy day, Miss Pines can see the sun, cause she knows it always shines for Miss Pines. Miss Pines views the world through rosy colored glasses, and despite what teacher says, she's got A's in all the classes. She don't need a book to teach her to have fun. Color inside the lines, no, not Miss Pines. And she 
says, Ho, hey, we're gonna climb a mountain today. Ho, hey, so get on out of my way. Nothing in the world's gonna stop this climb. My harness is set and you can bet I'll make it to the top cause I'm Miss Pines. Miss Pines eats her lunch, but she eats it all alone. It's up at night, all dressed up by the phone. But it never rings, she might as well become a nun. Still, I will be mine, says Miss Pines. Miss Pines had a dream, more real than it should seem. There was a man in the ball. But when she awoke, her heart just up and broke. Still Miss Pines' hopes are high, she won't give up that soon. She knows if she tries that she can shoot the moon. So she's putting on her best red dress and out the door she'll run. All dressed up to the nines, oh Miss Pines. And she says, oh, hey, we're gonna climb a mountain today. Nothing in the world's gonna stop this climb. My harness is set and you can bet I'll make it to the top of Miss Pines. Miss Pines caught a flick, thought she'd be in bed by ten. That was before she ran into Ken. Two years later they're engaged, she's finally found the one. I'd like to sing some more about Miss Pines' future, but it's hard to find a rhyme with Mrs. Kenneth Borschfeldt. The name's not important, her search is finally done. It seems that every star aligns for Miss Pines. So, oh, oh, hey, she found a man and now they Richard Spinaletta, awesome job, wonderful, thank you, thank you. welcome. So the first thing that I would like to talk to everyone about is where they might have seen you, because you've done some pretty fancy stuff that people might have seen you in. Well, I don't know about fancy, but um, <laughs> last you year- You are fancy. You are fancy, this is fancy. <laughs> um, last year, I was on the national tour of The Lightning Thief, I played Grover, the guy with the goat legs, and then this past, um, holiday Christmas season, I played Linus in the national tour of Charlie Brown Christmas, and they were both national tours. Charlie Brown Christmas was more so West Coast and Midwest, mm -hmm. and then we also went to West Virginia. They were like, this is the West, this is the West Coast tour, and then we also went to the East Coast. West but, Coast plus. But it's mostly Virginia. the West Coast tour. Yeah. yeah. And where did Lightning Thief go? Uh, it was all over. Oh, okay. Yeah. So some of you might have seen him. And then, locally, here in New York, you did a little show that we met on. Yes. We, did, we, we met doing a little show called Me the People. It, it was a political satire. It was super fun. It was at the Triad Theater on West 72nd. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant parody lyrics by uh, Nancy Holson. Uh, and we, and, I mean, we had four of, I think, the hardest working actors in New York. You Instagrammed once. You and uh, you and Mitchell mm -hmm. Instagrammed backstage 
one of your quick changes while you were saying lines. Yes. We get off stage and we both had separate characters to quick change into while interviewing Mia, who was Melania Trump, who had since entered on stage. So we had to, as offstage reporters, interview her while quick changing. Mr. Trump, over here, one question! Mr. Trump, ask one question! It was kind of amazing though, because in rehearsals, we were like, <laughs> and then in performances, we had a extra 15 to 25 second buffer because me is hilarious and yes. people it kept laughing people kept laughing and didn't really stop laughing yeah. really. uh so do you what about upcoming what what do you have coming up are you doing anything right now do you have anything that's that's going to be coming up that people might be able to see mm -hmm. now that they know who you are yes um i'm doing a production of into the woods in april awesome. at, um, i'm playing jack at uh, stevens stevens theater players out in missouri actually just started filming my first sketch, which I'm really excited about. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll link that when that's out. Link it. Well, thank you so much. A lot to look forward to. Thank you very thank much, you Richard. Thank you for having me. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have you back for, to sing with us yes, please. some more. Absolutely. All right. Terrific.
So, welcome Amanda Nicholas Thank you. to Broadway on Deck. Thanks so much for coming and doing this. This was so much fun. It was my pleasure. It was such a good time. She sounds so good. <laughs> so, talk to me about uh, about what you love to do, about what you have done. What's been like your favorite project? Oh boy. So, I've done a lot of parody shows, which I thoroughly have enjoyed. I've parodied, you know, 60s sci-fi and I've parodied many 90s sitcoms and you know showgirls and i've parodied star trek and just like lots of i mean really kind of across the and that's been a lot of fun um on stage indeed yeah. we viewers may have seen her in such hits as showgirls you mentioned yeah full house yep. uh bayside the musical nailed it yep uh what was the star trek one called you told me this warp speed warp speed, warp speed. and then my personal favorite while we're on <laughs> sci-fi musicals, yeah. um, where we first met, yeah. um, The Wild Women of Planet Wongo, <laughs> which I was music directing. Uh-huh, and I played the queen, so I got to uh, really just cruelly abuse everyone. Yeah. Audience that, members, cast members. That's pretty much what general. queens I was, do. I was just a dick. I was just a big <laughs> dick. No, I, I, uh, it was a blast. It was really fun. It was wacky. I had Marge Simpson wig up to the rafters and go-go boots. And we the were whole nine. The whole nine. It was, it was, it was a blast. It was and she was incredible. And it's coming to Chicago. So if you're in the Chicago area, look out for that. June through September of 2018. Out. The Wild Women of Planet Wongo. Oh, and what's on the horizon? What's, what's looking forward? What are you working on? So I've been doing, turned a little bit towards film. Exciting. Yeah, I've done a, a few little things here and there. I've got a, a feature film coming up. I will be acting opposite a puppet and voicing a puppet and singing the theme song and doing lots of fun things on it. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be something. And then I'm working, I'm about to start filming another uh, feature film that I get to play a pop star in, which means I am singing nice. and I am dancing and I am playing guitar, which is terrifying. So many great. talents, this um, one. Amanda Nicholas, ladies and gentlemen, she's amazing. <laughs> okay, that was awesome. I'm Morgan Siobhan Green, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for having me. You're incredibly busy right now. Yes. So the fact that you you have rehearsal in the morning. Yes. And you were in a show last night. Yes. Right, so we're going to talk about all of the amazing things that you've got going on. Where might our viewers have seen you? Well, I did a random music video by a group called The Avalanches, which is on YouTube. It got like nominated for like a UK VMA or something like that. I have absolutely no idea. Um, I've done some stuff here in the city. I did you guys' Nutcracker mm -hmm. musical. I did a show about Craigslist, which was pretty funny. And I just did, like you said, the reading yesterday at 90 Second Y that was based off of a Jodie Picoult novel. So, yeah. Yeah, I was there last night. It was awesome. Let's talk about that because you did that regionally, right? Yes, we did that. It was a world premiere and it was at Kansas City Repertory Theater. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, called Between the Lines. And what's what What do you do in that? Because you have a couple of interesting yeah, things that you have to I'm do. Yeah, I'm like a human and a mermaid. I would say that they're both very strong-willed and convicted, and they're feminists, and they are trailblazers, which is really important for what's happening in the world mm -hmm. today. Like, strong women make stronger women, so. And would you say that you were, like, the lead mermaid? Yeah, I would say Aunt Dean like, runs the island. Like, she runs yeah. the rocks. <laughs> I would say that. She runs the rocks. Yeah. Yeah. And you mentioned a little bit that we met doing the Amos Musical Theater reading yes. of Nutcracker. Yes. That was so much fun. It was just a really great experience because, like, there were no racial barriers or mm -hmm. nothing like that. And a lot of the styles that I usually sing, I got to sing a different style of yeah. music, and it was really great just having the opportunity to be in like a safe space, doing something that's familiar to people, but then like making it even that much more recognizable. Mm -hmm. and like, it was the Tchaikovsky music. It was literally. It, it was, was the awesome. actual Tchaikovsky Nutcracker, but with lyrics yes. by Nancy Holson, yes. uh, who's wonderful. Hi, 
what do you have coming up? Because you're in rehearsal for something right now. I am. I'm in rehearsal right now for a show called Folk Wandering, which is another world premiere by Jacqueline Backhouse and being directed by Andrew Neisler. And there are 11 composers in this show. 11, if you hear me. They're really awesome. It's just really great working with young people. And, like, you know, I find, like, sometimes when things are created, it's only looked at through the lens of making money, which mm -hmm. is important because, like, we all need money to, mm -hmm. like, eat and breathe, <laughs> breathe, unfortunately. But there's a special place in the world where artistry is not lost and, like, storytelling is so important. And it's really great just knowing that there's, like, generations of people coming up where the artistry is, like, what they will not sacrifice. When and where can people see it? I may be wrong. But I'm okay. pretty sure it we'll opens, double like, check. We'll put the like dates February, here too. February, mid February, and it's in the city at ART, like at the mezzanine. So oh, beautiful, yeah, so fantastic, yeah. awesome. Everyone should go see it because everything that she does is amazing. I can attest from what I saw last night. Thank you. And what we've done together. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thanks for having awesome. me. Awesome. Very... Well, wow, <laughs> that has been Broadway on deck. On deck. And what, what a, uh, an episode it has yeah. been. We want to send huge thank yous to Richard Spitaletta, Lauren Morgan, Amanda Nicholas, and Morgan Siobhan Green for their Those fantastic people. work on this Those episode. Folks. And a huge thanks to everyone at Town Stages for all of their help in putting this together. Uh, and to thanks the All Things to Broadway All channel. Things Broadway. Again. Eliyahu Kira and everybody over there who's, uh, who's getting this content Making to you happen. right now. He's David. He's Paul. We're the Regano Songbook. And this has been Broadway, Broadway on, on Deck. Deck. On Deck. So if you're the theater lover and you know that you are, and you need to know which Broadway's gone before they're a star, then tell me how many boxes did you check? What you need is Broadway on Deck. Deck.